Wendell Carter Jr. I think he's one of the more underrated prospects in this top 10. I think, I think that Wendell Carter is going to be a terrific NBA player. He's got physical size. He can step out and shoot the ball. You can put him in ball screen. I think he defends the post. I think he rebounds balls out of his area. Wendell Carter Jr. is a big time player. Carter is one of the most offensively versatile bigs in this draft, starting with his game inside the arc. He's comfortable in face-up situations. He can inside pivot and knock down jumpers. He can rip through quick spin left hand finish as a nice counter move. And then he's really most comfortable with his back to the basket. He does a great job of feeling his defender leaning one way, quick spinning along the baseline and finishing in traffic. Does a nice job of getting to his left or right-handed jump hook also sets up back shoulder fades with excellent footwork and body control, really soft touch, very useful move against switches. On top of his polished interior scoring, Carter has perimeter potential, especially as a stretch big, really sound mechanics, on balance, excellent touch. We haven't seen his entire toolbox offensively attempting only 46 threes as a freshman. There's a lot more to his game than we saw here with the two dribble pull up going left. Not a move you see from many 6'10", 250 pound centers and can also attack off the bounce when run off his spots. Not the most explosive guy in space, but does a nice job of getting to his spots and has some untapped perimeter potential. He can score on the block, he can space the floor, and lastly, Wendell Carter is an excellent passer. He had some really nice moments with Marvin Bagley in high-low situations. You can short roll him to space and hit, he can hit the opposite big or he can kick out to shooters. Looks opposite when he catches in the post. Just an overall impressive feel for the game, both on the perimeter and on the interior for Wendell Carter Jr. Carter, one of the best rebounding bigs in this draft, both on the offensive end and the defensive end. Long arms, strong frame, and not afraid to get physical, throwing bodies around with swim moves and attacking the offensive glass with aggression. Also very good on the defensive backboards, finds a body with box outs, uses those tree trunk legs and strong lower body to hold opponents off the glass and can attack rebounds at its highest point. Duke's leading shot blocker, Carter, had some nice moments at the bottom of Duke's zone, especially in bluff and recover situations. Really nice verticality with a near 7'5 wingspan, 250 pounds, good shot blocking instincts, and projects as an NBA level rim protector. Can also guard the post given his size, timing, and length. He's smothered by Carter. Carter's biggest question mark is his ability to defend on the perimeter, especially in ball screens. He doesn't give himself enough space to keep the ball contained, leading to open threes or layups. He doesn't have great fundamentals. He's upright, he's handsy, and he's also not a switch defender, just not all that quick twitch athletically, especially laterally. So he's gonna need to get better guarding the perimeter in pick and roll, in switches, and against more perimeter-oriented bigs. He's a fine vertical athlete in space, but Carter is a two foot low jumper. He's not great from a standstill. He struggles a bit versus length, and he's not overly agile from side to side. Not the most modern big in terms of fluidity and mobility. Also not a tear down the rim threat in ball screens, more of a finesse finisher in traffic. For as skilled and well-rounded as he is, Carter has his troubles in the confidence department, really plays a very tense game and puts a lot of pressure on himself, leading to turnovers against double teams or struggles executing basic dribble handoffs, and really spent a lot of the season in foul trouble, partially due to his lack of confidence and discipline, missed open threes by a wide mark Margin, struggled to finish fairly basic jump hooks that he normally converts so something to watch with Carter moving forward.
So we're here in Colorado Springs with Wendell Carter, Carter Jr. from Atlanta, Georgia. We hoop summit in Portland with Wendell Carter. Top to bottom, Carter is one of the most complete players in this draft in that he can score on the block, he can space the floor, he's an adept passer, he protects the rim, and he rebounds his position. The question is more his upside. Does he have the mentality to ever be more than a second or third option offensively? Can he guard enough in space to warrant playing big minutes? And is he going to have the confidence to stay out of foul trouble and to produce consistently at the NBA level? Uh, do you feel like you're overlooked a little bit? I mean, a little bit, but I mean, I was able to show what I'm able to do. So it wasn't so much as, I wouldn't say underrated, but I, I, I'll probably say I just wasn't able to show everything that I can do.